what's up guys this is Kashi and thank you for watching and today I'm bringing you guys just a war reflection and what happened in our previous war as you can see our war log is actually looking quite well at the moment and um, let's quickly look at the details of this last war that we've had as you can see 26 11 was the final score and we got full stars um, I mean full experience for this war so let me quickly show you here we managed to three star everyone except the top four which we've all two starred so this is quite quite nice I'm quite happy with everyone's efforts and we've actually used all 20 attacks so that is very nice I'm gonna just show you some of the attacks that I think was um, quite quite extraordinary the first one I want to show you is um, one that I did on my Town 7 account and uh, if I just pause this up here if you have a look at this base everything all the defenses are actually maxed for this Town 8 and if you know um, my Town 7 account it's a max Town 7 you're more so this is a Town 7 3 starring a max Town 8 um, this is the air attack so the walls you know if this was all black walls then all level 8 walls it still would have been the same result so all the defenses are maxed the only thing that is not maxed are like the pumps and this is actually one thing you know you always get these people that sometimes they rush their tunnels and they don't upgrade everything on their base now um, if you actually upgrade your pumps as well and you max them out then it's just more hit points that the enemy troops have to to um, take care of before they can three star you so I would always say just you know max everything so let's quickly have a look here what happened so I th used three lightning spells and took out that um, air defense at the top there and I tried to get these dragons now but I quickly want to talk this is one thing I noticed um, some people struggle to get right if you when you try to get your dragons to get to the center of a base I would always suggest that you start on the two corners um, but then even if you do start on the corners there's a way that you can see where your dragons will go naturally so look at this top dragon here I dropped him instead of dropping him on the far side of that um, gold mine I dropped him on this elixir side so when he's finished with that gold mine he'll also move towards the center so that is the reason why I dropped him here this one was a little bit harder to do because that builders had the closest building to him was that gold mine and then he started going to the right so let me quickly show you how this works so from from the 10 dragons that I had that one at the top as you can see he starts going inside and um, this one here I think there's only one dragon that actually goes off to the side all the other dragons came towards the center so as you can see here nine dragons are heading towards the center and only one went off to the side so now I've dropped all nine of them they are all heading towards those three defenses and um, so right here this guy was probably in a bit of trouble because before the clan castle troops arrive I think those two air defenses were taken care of so now there's no more air defenses left now over here one thing that worked out quite nicely was these balloons actually took lots of the bombs there's two three bombs that went off already one air mine and two air bombs and then um, so it did leave my dragons quite um, you know open and kept their hit points up for longer so there you can see another air mine hit the balloon so if it weren't for those um, balloons distracting the, the bombs and stuff this probably would not have been a three star I did drop the king at the top to try and save this dragon here if this dragon had to start taking off those side buildings he would have died much sooner so now what the, what the king did at the top there, he distracted this archer tower at the top to give this dragon time to actually go and take out the archer tower. So that's why in my previous videos I also mentioned the importance of timing and dropping your king at the right place. If you want to get your dragons to actually get to all the defenses you need to have distractions. So now this dragon distracted that archer tower again, this one on the left, so that the two dragons on the right can actually head towards the archer tower and take it out so I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit so once that dragon dies right there these two dragons already took out the archer tower so guys your timing of your where you place your dragons and um, when you drop your kings very important but if you do it correctly 
you can see here this is like max defenses and a tunnel 7 3 starring a max tunnel 8 technically all right so that was the one i wanted to show you guys the next attack that was really worth a replay is um this one here that king ben in our clan did um let me quickly show you now if you notice something this is a tunnel 9 i think it's like level 82 or something um, and this is a perfect base to try hogs on because there's no spaces for giant bombs or even double giant bombs on the inside of this base so what he did was when you're doing hogs you have to lure out the clan castle um, so here he used one hog lured out the six um, wizards i think that's in the clan castle or the five not so sure and then he dropped his king that was a bit strange to me that he used his king to actually um, lure the the clan castle troops further but it did work out in the end um, he did manage to get all of them out so then here he starts trickling in his hogs because he doesn't want to get lose them all to a giant bomb so they actually got rid of two of the giant bombs um, and I think he didn't lose any hogs when that one bomb went off so this was very fortunate for him as you can see here the first heal goes down and um, over here he was very patient you know I would have probably dropped a heal on, on, on this wizard tower um, but he was very patient and he actually waited he dropped his second heal here on the left side and then his last heal he dropped here on these last defenses so if it I think if it weren't for this spell placement he probably would have not been able to three star this this base so once this last hidden Tesla went down the hogs turned to the skeletons and to the barbarian king and then they went for all the all the closest structures so now he dropped wizards on on all the corners to make sure that he actually takes out um, all the structures in time and now the hogs I think he's got like 15 hogs left they are just running around the base and pretty much just sweeping up everything so this was a very very good attack um, here he tricks, uh, trips another giant bomb but um, level 4 hogs I think it's strong enough to survive a level 2 bomb I think I suspect those were level 2 bombs so there we go guys that's another very good attack from King Ben in our clan he's sort of a hog specialist like two, two wars in a row now he's got hogs um, three stars with hogs um, so yeah we used go wipe on most of these other bases to actually get two stars um, so as you can see here let me just quickly show you the stats we've won 17 of our 20 attacks and um, the most heroic attack was Morio and also the most heroic defense he actually defended on his base for 49% or 44% or something so anyway guys um, yeah that is the war we just had and um, hopefully we can continue with our wins that we have at the moment and um, yeah so thank you guys for watching and I hope um, you guys enjoyed the video I hope you can learn something from it I'll see you guys again tomorrow have a good day cheers yeah.